And hello, Amazon Live. Great to be with you. And today we're going to talk about some fun things to do while we are staying indoors, right? We've got some good ideas coming up for the outdoors, but we'll do that on another day. So uh, Victoria and I are hanging out with little Dallas, and she's finished her schoolwork for the day. And uh, we want to do some fun stuff, right? So we have some cool coloring book ideas. We have some fun science ideas. A little bit young for you, but I think it'll be fine. And a uh, little Jenga, a little Yahtzee, little markers. Remember when I first gave you those? That was super fun. And then I was looking at this. This is going to be a little bit more challenging than I think. I know this one is going to be okay. So this is a DIY project, and um, I think you're going to really um, find it fascinating. I did at least when I first purchased this for Victoria. It is a DIY miniature house, and this is the library. It's a Sam Study, and you can find it here on Amazon. Uh, we have had it for a little while, but we haven't actually opened up the box to start doing it. And uh, look what I found when I did. So the first step is that we have to gather up all of these tools. So there's a lot of tools that are included. I grabbed grab the ruler and the scissors. Um, we have to look for a utility knife, needle nose pliers. So we might not be able to do that right now, but we'll see if we can. Um, and you know, some really fun, simple ideas too, like some Yahtzee and uh, all kinds of good stuff. There's some really great things you can find online too, like this uh, Align is a dot that went for a walk. So we'll show you kind of peeking inside of that and seeing some fun things. And then uh, maybe we'll do another show on what to do with the, with the doggies. This is little Dallas, sweet Dallas. <laughs> okay, um, let's get started. So the items are going to be in the carousel. I'm gonna say hello on our chat. So you're welcome to chat with us and ask any questions. You're gonna come over, I mean. <laughs> whatever closer there she is okay so the first thing that we are gonna do so we're in the chat right now the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the marker everything okay so in order to show this to you let me just kind of rearrange some things here because we've been stacking up all of the goodies we're gonna show you uh oh there goes the Yahtzee game okay good all right so um this one is a super fun game. Let's do this. We're gonna to go to the webcam. It's not really a game. It's uh, kind of an idea to do all kinds of fun things. Marker everything. So you can design, doodle, decorate with permanent markers. And this was something that, let me see if I can get all those markers out of there. Um, I found really fun um, as Victoria is quite the artist. So I'm gonna brag on you a little bit. She's got a really cool creative mind, so we'll see if we can get some of her artistic juices flowing here. Uh, which of these do you like best, these little patterns? Um, that one. Really? The spaceship, the, the uh, outer space? Okay, the planet or the stars? Yeah. yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then this looks like little emojis going across the top. So what's cool about this is that it gives you all kinds of ideas to be super creative. So there's patterns and doodles, there's stenciling, there's tracing, there's masking, um, tie-dye techniques, all kinds of things. So it tells you, uh, here's the markers, it tells you the other stuff that you'll need. If you want to do non-permanent markers, you can do that, get some scrap paper. We've actually done a lot of drawing in this notebook, which is really kind of fun too. And uh, and then, mm -hmm. let's see, what do we want to color? So there's marker basic, this is cool. This looks like something you would do. All right, so let's just go to it. So lines and dots. I love that, it kind of gives you a little practice. Oh, we did that practice mode. And then here's spirals, so you can practice in there. What do you want to play with? Um, okay. It's just like a couple years ago. It is, it's been a while. We did this backwards because you're a lefty and I'm a righty. So oh. we're gonna have to draw one at a time. <laughs> oh man, wanna try the red and try the blue one? We've had this one for a while, but it's something I definitely would recommend, and you can grab it there on uh, on your live uh, Amazon Live. And we just go into the chat. 
Torgan. Oh, that's terrible. And I are here to show like you some face. Uh, I don't think that's the worst thing you've ever done. Come on. I have done <laughs> Um, so as we're drawing here, it's fun to just kind of do this together and create, you know, it, this could be crystals or mandalas or whatever it is you want to do. You could try, I know you've done this on sunglasses. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, but you did a drawing like that on some sunglasses. I blinged it out I with didn't some. I draw on them. I put like rhinestones. With the rhinestones on there. Oh, so it wasn't drawing. It was rhinestones. Gotcha. Like I said, she's pretty creative. She does a lot of stuff. I like these tiny doodles. Let's take a look at that. So these are fun. There's so many things you can do in this book. This looks like something you probably did. So that's better than what I would do. <laughs> Little tiny doodles. I like the rose. So we could continue that row there. At the beginning of the book, there's like instructions on how to make like a cube thing. Yeah, and it kind of walks you through. I mean, even right here where you're filling it in, it's kind of instructional because you've got a place to play with it a little bit before you. I'm just going to do what, Oh, that one needs to dry it out, isn't it? What is that? Oh, I, I don't know. That one looks like a mistake. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe that was... I know. This. Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> this was a practice that does not quite look like the scallops on that side. I just love drawing. It's something fun that we can do together, no matter how old you are. I like drawing, but over quarantine, I feel like I lost the drawing skills I never had. Well, I think you're getting a lot of them back. You're doing well here. You're doing really well. So, oh, phone case. Gotta love that. What are you watching, Dallas? Dallas is in a world of his own. He kind of does his own thing over there. <laughs> so, this one is really fun. All kinds of cool stuff. Uh, we haven't done that. So this one is a uh, max map, so you can actually fill in kind of like a little uh, paper doll, which I think is kind of fun. We could do that. So we could come back to this, and uh, I just think it's a really, really fun uh, idea, especially if you're learning. So if you're like Victoria and you already kind of are, are super crafty and super creative, then you can jump into some of the um, cool ideas that are here, like maybe designing your own tennis shoes, doing some sunglasses, or this has a little umbrella. Or if you're like me and you want a little more instruction, then you can do kind of a step-by-step -step and learn how to make the patterns. So whether it's a monochromatic pattern like you see here or the same or similar pattern, but doing it with different colors, there's all kinds of fun things that you can do here. Alrighty, so that's a great one. And if you are looking for some fun indoors, it is after the kids are done with their homework <laughs> or schoolwork, then that's a great one to get started with. Alrighty, so that's this one. And that's called Marker Everything. Let's go in order. And hello. Okay, so somebody's asking, Hila, explain what the book is about. So in summary, um, as we've been playing with it. The book is yours to design, doodle, and decorate with permanent markers. So it includes the permanent markers, and really, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with it. So however you want to create, however you want to color, however you want to um, be super creative, you can do that with this book. And I hope that answers your question. You can, yes, you can do that. Okay, so next, let's go back and talk about what's next in our stream. So, uh, the Thousand Sticker Dress Up book. So, there's some stickers. We're going to talk about those next. All right. There's a lot in our stack of goodies over here. All right. This one is the Thousand Sticker Dress Up Fashion Designer. So this allows you to you do like a same, something similar to a paper doll, but you're doing it with stickers. So you have all the fabulous outfits. This is sensational 60s, winter wonderland, 80s creations. Uh, there's fabulous 50s for the template. And then you can choose how you want to put the clothes onto the uh, 
the ladies that are in these pages, their studio style. Lily and Olivia are getting ready for a TV interview. Olivia's dressed up, but Lily needs a little help. So you can figure out how you want to dress them. So it's a fun kind of creative thing to do if you are not into a lot of drawing, but you still want to spend time hanging out. You can do that. You want to do one? Let's find a template. Let's find, let me just show you a little bit inside the book. So, what do you think as we flip through here? Here's Cafe Chic, camera, lights, style, spring into fashion, Cafe Chic. Where are you? I didn't know that. Anything strike your fancy? Fashion magazine. We were just looking at a fashion all, magazine. These are all stickers, so. Okay, so which stickers would we like to use for the fashion magazine? Um, Here's a few options. Is this the action? Is that a dress? Oh, yeah. Okay. Some of them we've used already, obviously. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to use this page. Mm -mm. Stylish starter. Wait, wait, yes. Little 60s. This one, this one. You want to go for winter? Yeah. Why not? It's April and <laughs> where we are, but we can always decide how we want to, what season we want to uh, to be in. Yeah, yeah. People with like stickers. Me. Yeah, people like me still literally get like so hot by wearing hoodies every day. That's true. You like to wear hoodies all the time. Oh, that I looks better. Face. I think okay. you can sort of measure it by where her wrists are on there. Yeah. And then it's kind of like the jacket is going around to the back of her neck. That looks weird. Yeah, it doesn't fit her quite so well on that one. But you get the general idea there. So there's the fashion. So she needs some pants. Let's not leave her pants pantsless, bottomless for sure. Okay, let's find them quickly. Oh, of course, you like the sweats. <laughs> oh, wait. It's going to have to go underneath there. Okay, so this one is going to be a little bit of a fail, but, well, that's okay. It kind of works. You get the idea. <laughs> Not super fashionable, but there she is. So all kinds of um, fun goodies here when it comes to dresses and... Um, outfits and fun things that you can make and lots of accents too which is cool and then there's style awards so that is the 1000 sticker dress uh, dress up fashion designer so that was there all right now this is one you haven't used a whole lot this is Melissa and Doug's sticker collection 700 stickers that's a lot great for arts and crafts and scrapbooking and creating original scenes so there you go. What do you think you like in here? Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't ever used this. We used this, um, well, I used it for some of those pets. Oh. This is, I love this. Lots of butterflies and hearts and bees and unicorns. You're past the unicorns. Yes. Yes. She's like, oh, mom, I've already done unicorns. We did a couple years of unicorns and rainbows. That was pretty fun. Yep. Uh, there's fun little dolls and little tea parties that you can have. Remember when we went and had tea? That was lovely. Little tea house, farm animals. So all kinds of stickers. Hey, that kind of is like what we were just doing with the uh, the thousand fashion designs with the dresses. You okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm taking it. You're not loving that one. Okay, let's go into. So that's the Melissa and Doug. Okay, the next one is the hands, hands Craft DIY Miniatures. Now, this is the one that I purchased for Victoria, actually for her last birthday, and we just haven't gotten around to doing it, but it is available on Amazon. And 
let's just open this up because this is so super cool if you are a crafter and you're into DIY. Um, like serious DIY. Serious DIY, exactly. And which is why we were intimidated and haven't really even started it yet. And I won't be able to do too much of it for you right now because we need a lot of other tools. But uh, let's just give you a little look. And so if you are uh, a crafter, you might love it. So it's Sam's study. And basically it is an entire study, an entire library that's made out of paper. So all of paper, the paper and templates, oh, right? And these, and these are wood, yeah. So paper um, is kind of the overlay, but look at the design. So lots of wood, here's your, the books will be, oh yeah, there's a lot more wood than I thought. Here's your fabric overlays, lots of painting. Oh my gosh, we'd paint. have to paint. Um, I noticed the first step is that you have to paint the initial oh, template. This. Yes. Oh, here are the tweezer things you need. Right, the, those are the tweezers that are included. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is going to end up being a project that we probably have to go back, gather, do some uh, pre-planning on, and then uh, and then put it all together. Oh wow, batteries that are included, or that's gonna be cool to see what that goes to. Maybe that lamp that is lit up here, we'll see. So all kinds of pieces and parts and bits and instructions. So seriously, if you're a, a real crafter, then um, this may be over our heads, huh? But we could do it, we can try it. It's another level. It's another, another level, for sure. It goes from, it goes from like, DIY to work. To work. Yeah. <laughs> right. Legitimate work. Legitimate work. So that's going to be a good idea for maybe the next rainy day. We've had a few of those lately. So brief introduction walks you right through it. So uh, I don't know the level of difficulty. So if you are somebody that is, um, you know, just starting out like we are, then I'll give you a. Uh, 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 review once we get more into it and have holy cow this is going to take a while <laughs> this is why i'm thinking there's a lot of paper there's all those little library books that are there that you fold up like little origami pieces and then there's the fabric of course okay so that is sam's study serious diy can't give you a full review because we haven't tackled it yet and i was thinking we were going to actually tackle it during this video <laughs> but i don't think I don't think we want to start on that right now. So that is your hand craft DIY miniatures. Okay, here's something that everybody can do. Let's bust open these colors. So one of Victoria's favorite things to do, like I said, is to color. So let's dive into the Studio Series colored pencils and let's use our, a line is a dot that went for a walk. I have
Can you see it close up? This one is what I see. Mm hmm. This thing. Right? Kind of looks like some of the math you've been, you've been doing with that, like the line. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> So, put all that back in order and we will scoot along. And let's go back over to, okay, Brain Games. Where is, I'm going to jump forward to that cat's cradle. So, I'm going to just move us forward a little bit on some of the items that we've selected because this is something that I uh, picked up for Victoria. We've used over the years, but we've only used it at different levels because we were only ready for certain levels at certain times. I so remember this. This is, you don't remember this one? It's super cool. That's the fun thing about some of the items you can pick up on the Amazon because you can uh, use them, you know, year after year with so many different uh, age levels. Are you sleepy?
rainbow window over here. Ooh. But it says what's going on inside. So I guess it depends on how specific you want to get with your instructions or if you want to kind of make up your own instructions as you go along. This is going to be a little 70, call a 70s.
think you got it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, nice. Okay. No, you can't get that. Oh, I can't go from the top? No, you have to be like four away from the top. You do? Are we making up our own rules, or is that really a rule? Yes, I just made up that rule, so it's our own. Oh, I don't know about this. How about oh. that? Okay, let's save the phone. Maybe we should move it out of the way, <laughs> just in case the next one is a crash. Decisions, decisions. Oh, it's definitely teetering. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be... Wow, it's really wobbly. <laughs> okay, game over. <laughs> so, with this one, <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've played it before, so like, uh -huh. right? You do this often. So, with this one, though, the important part is to remember to put it back in the box properly, because then it'll be really easy to play the next time, like we just had when we stacked it out. That's why I don't, yeah. no, that's the one thing I don't like about the game, is that you have to re-stack it. You have to re-stack it. Well, like anything in life, you just gotta put it all away. Yeah. Okay, so we will save that, uh, spare you watching that though. So <laughs> we'll put it away at another time. Alrighty, let's see what else we have on our list to do. Oh, here's a super fun one. I'll let Victoria go grab Dallas. This is the first big book. Come on this side of me. This is the first big book of why. And this was a great idea, I think, for um, reading, nighttime reading, for um, kind of encouraging Victoria with some of her learnings and um, just a nice way to be curious and have interaction. So why do balloons float? Why do I have to eat vegetables? Uh, why does soapy water make bubbles? Why do eyeglasses work? Uh, it's the, first, the kid's first big book of why. Uh, why do seeds grow up? Why does my skin wrinkle in the bathtub? I actually remember reading that to you when you were little. So um, why does grandma have wrinkles? <laughs> skin grows and stretches.
<laughs> Are we bargaining? We'll probably wait to put all those Jenga pieces away. So let's just scoot them for now. Because it's going to take a minute to stack them all up properly in a box. Why don't you scoot them over that way? Okay, so Yahtzee, hopefully you're familiar with it, but if you are not, um, grab it so Dallas doesn't get him. Honey. So. Boring each uh, with each roll of the dice. So I think you get three, three rolls. Yep, you can roll it up to three times each turn. So we'll um, do a little playing of the Yahtzee, and then uh, we'll round things out here. So, okay, Victoria, you didn't finish your job over here, little one. I think we'll use the box to play in because we've kind of have a little bit going on here with our colored pencils and our okay let's grab that before Dallas eats it. Dallas can't eat a block. Before he chews on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot to clean up. Okay so time for a game of Yahtzee if you are just joining us and uh, it is in the carousel below we like the classic game. So uh, we're just reconnecting the chat and making sure we're all set there. All right, so I'm going to put up the Yahtzee in the uh, live stream so that you can grab it as well. Okay, this is a fun one. You want to go first? Sure. Let's, um, for sake of not blowing people's ears out, let's just uh, shake it in your hand because it gets really loud with that. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what you have here. I'm just going to scoot them over. So, what are you thinking you want to do with that one? Um, you have twos, you have threes, and you have one five. So, do you want to go for the upper section with your numbers first? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to try to go for three of a kind? Three, or three, even a full house. Full house. I want to go full. So what I would you do to go for a full house? Wait, no, no, no. I want to go for um a um um four of a kind or three of a kind. Four of a kind or three of a kind, which you also could end up using with the uh, threes in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna put those over to the side. Okay, show what you got. So. There's six, there's a one, there's a five, and mm, not a super exciting one on that roll. <laughs> and hey, looks like you got three threes, so we'll go with that. Wait, do I roll again? Nope, you only get three rolls. I That's only it. did it twice. <laughs> oh wait, but when, oh, okay. So let's mark your threes. And here we go. Four, four, five. Oh, wait, two. so it would be nine. Wait, what? Well, what do you think? Would it count what is the instruction? Would it count say? for three, like three threes or what? Oh. This says count and add only threes. Mm -hmm. So you have three? Nine. Yep. All right, so what am I going to do with this one? Let's see. If we have four, I have almost the same roll that you had. So. I think I'm going to do, oh, what the heck, I'm just going to roll one. Oh, look at that. So we got four, three fours and two twos. What would that one be? Mm, full house. A full house. 
So there you have it. So you get the idea, I think, of, uh, of what's happening with Yahtzee. It's uh, a great fun game, I think, to play with the whole family and play in different ways. You want to keep going? Okay. So if you're just joining us, we're playing a little Yahtzee. We played a little Jada and did a little reading. How do you do on that roll? You got three threes and a couple ones that you want to get rid of. Now you already have your threes though. Not sure. Right on this one. Yeah. So what are you gonna go for? Three of a kind or four of a kind. All right. Hey, there's four of a kind, and you got one more roll. And so there you go, four of a kind. Um. Now. Let's see. What does it say in the instructions here with four of a kind? Okay. You just add up all the threes. Wait, add, mm -hmm. wait, wait, no, no, no. Add the total of all of the all, dice. All of the dice. All right. Twelve. Yeah, yeah. I and then plus another. Seventeen. All right, seventeen. So... This is a good point of strategy, right? So sometimes when you are wanting to get those four of a kind and three of a kind, you want to try to go for it with those higher numbers on the dice. But you only learn that over time as you're playing Yahtzee, right? Okay, my roll. Uh, here we go. We got one, two, three, fives. And these two. So I could go for my fives or I could uh, go for four of a kind. We've already got three of a kind with this one. So, hey, four of a kind right there. And maybe we could get a Yahtzee. That'd be awesome. Hey, I think that's a Yahtzee. Five of, oopsie, that was a five. That was totally a five. And then I just flipped it. I totally had a Yahtzee. We're going to have to rewind. <laughs> well, there you have it. I don't make Yahtzees very often. I remember the last time I made a Yahtzee. So I think that kind of gives you an idea of, uh, of the game of Yahtzee. So whether you're choosing Yahtzee or Zynga, uh, maybe this gets the kiddos off the TikTok for a little while. And uh, great ideas. Let me just remind you about some of the things that we've looked over. So we saw the Cat's Cradle book, which was the book of string, finger, string fingers, this one. And it comes along with the string. So uh, if you are an 80s girl like me, you can kind of have that flashback to those days when you would do some of these string designs. And how did we do that with this cup and saucer? There it is. Ta-da! I think that's the only one I actually have memorized. So that is a really fun one while you're inside. And let's see what else. Lots of sticker books we have. Hand me some of those books. Mm -hmm. And... We talked about the uh, National Geographic, the first book for the kiddos. Just give you a quick reminder of that one. Oh, that was the 20 minutes science. Uh, here's the 20 minutes science book. So we have that one. And that would be in the carousel below. I think I've highlighted that one for you right now. And lots of stickers. I love Melissa and Doug's stuff. They have um, lots of educational pieces, lots of great puzzles, lots of great stickers. That's in there. We talked about Jenga. We still have a little mess going on with the Jenga, so I'm not going to show that to you, but that's the one that stacks up. Really like that one. And Yahtzee, of course, we were just playing. I could go ahead and put it away. So it comes with the, uh, the notepad with all of the... Um, all of the little squares for you to put in your scores and of course the instructions and the little cup to roll your Yahtzee dice in. And so that's the Yahtzee. Just doing a little recap for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fashion Divas, that was the sticker face book. I don't know if you actually did that and showed that to you in detail, but that one allows you, here it is, allows you to do design and fashion with the uh, with the girls and you choose the accessories that you want the look that you want to create 
you choose the expression based on the stickers that you're going to use in uh, in the eyes and the nose and the jewelry and etc even the shape of the eyebrows i think it's really fun so this is a really fun one and that is the fashion diva sticker face so that's in the carousel for you right now i like that one all right cat's cradle be covered and what else let's give you one last look at the doodle book and that was brain games dare to doodle this is fun because it walks you through and gives you inspiration like finish the alphabet so you can finish in that same pattern or you can do it in a different pattern if you want to finish the map this one you just have free space on this page to do whatever you like finish the pattern across the page feel free to add more detail i think you get the idea so whatever it is that you want to uh, uh, draw, I think you'll get a little inspiration out of this book. This, is, this one's funny. Finish the trail of the gro dropped groceries. So she's walking home from the grocery store and dropping the groceries <laughs> along the way, which is kind of funny. So there you have it. So that was uh, Brain Games. And then Color Magic, showing you that one. And really quickly, I'll just round out on those colored pencil set, the Studio Series colored pencil set, because that's something you can use with so many of these different pieces. So um, that's a little look at what we've been doing indoors um, in addition to schoolwork. And then we're going to come up with some really fun outdoor ideas, too, some of that chalk that we have, the outdoor sidewalk chalk and some fun and games outdoors. So thanks for joining us here on Amazon Live, and we will see you soon.